Hello guys, in this video I would like to show you the, my uh, chef bag, which is my, I think, fourth bag already. I uh, changed a few bags before, as I started, I thought uh, one small bag is enough, which was really like a rolling leather case, very basic chef bag. Uh, my second bag was the big uh, Wusthof one. Uh, my third bag was even bigger Wusthof one. You'll see it's three zipper. I still have it, but I will show you in the maybe next video. And this is the my latest and last bag which I'm using already, say one year. Uh, I had little cases well between, but that's broke very quick. So I decided to buy something very similar, small, portable. Is my new bag. This is the Mister Meister bag. You can buy in the different materials. I bought this one. Uh, in uh, this color I'm not really picky I just find one and I took it so it's pretty nice small bag uh, very handy to use uh, uh, this is my set of the knives uh, what I actually use at the moment so I'm gonna show you all of them one by one so this is how it looks inside of the bag a nice rubber finish this bag is uh, washable just dump it to washing machine and it's all done uh, so first I remove my uh, peeler just a, just a regular peeler uh, cheap working well nothing else to talk about this uh, second one what I have here it's a uh, tweezers it's a uh, nice and handy to use for some of the dishes to uh, to finalize garnishes and pretty nice tool not using much but nice to have it in the bag anyway uh, then my next one let's start start with the first which i bought before so uh mostly my knives are uh, covered it's a blade protection which I used, uh, I have a few Rustov. Uh, then I bought a Mr. Meister. And then uh, this knife came with a case, I'm gonna show it uh, as the last one. And that's it, yeah. So, let's go first, first. This is the Rustov uh, cleaner knife. Case is done. There we go. Uh, this knife I bought ooh, good f over five years ago, and uh, it's a pretty nice knife. Basic chopper, uh, metal uh, handle. Handle it's uh, that is not made from the same metal part as you see. I don't know. I try to show you. It's a uh, there's the line. So metal is just uh, forged from different material and you just plug in. Uh, pretty good knife. Sharpening this knife on uh, say 20-18 degree angle. Uh, it's a pretty standard uh, steel. like this knife because it's a chopper, nice to chop the herbs or stuff like this. As long as it's sharp, it does the job. Uh, heavy root vegetables, anything you need to do is the knife to do it. Uh, next knife is my uh, my kind of bread knife, I call it. It's uh, the same Wusthof culinary hardness is 58 uh, RC, which is uh, Rakva scale measured. Uh, the same, the same handle pushed in. Uh, those knives were made for 200 years of the anniversary of Wusthof, so they are more like a collector's knife, I can say as well. Uh, super slicer. Usually those knives uh, having a diff different way around, but uh, this one has a more like a waves which is very good for slicing uh, again I'm using it for bread uh, root vegetables that's all blade protector that was pretty good thing uh, as long it didn't broke as you see here they are not really lasting too long but still nice 
still nice touch to have it in the back. Uh, let's say the next knife would be the Santoku, which is universal knife. It's a Japanese chef knife, you can say, or not really chef knife. Uh, this is more like universal knife in the kitchen used in the Japan. Uh, this knife is Kaishun, Damascus steel, uh, VG10, and pretty nice knife, uh, D-shaped handle. Pretty good handle as well, you see it's a little bit oval D-shape here. Uh, nice to use it for the small jobs, uh, filleting fish, uh, filleting fish or uh, chickens, that's a pretty good job as well. Uh, slicing vegetables it's a good knife to have it's not a rocking knife too much as you see it's a, the blade is more straight it allows you to rock a little bit but it's not really a rocking knife push cut or pull there we go next knife would be a uh, kaishun again classic uh, this knife is a filleting knife it's not really a boning knife. Remember, this knife is not a boning knife. This is the filleting knife. So it's a kaishun, the same handle, D-shaped handle. It's our classic set having those handles. Uh, filleting chicken, doing small jobs. Uh, it's nice to the fish as well. Uh, this skinny fish I use it for the tuna mostly, uh, just to portion tuna. Uh, get very nice and sharp angle. Uh, I using angle it's uh, under 18, 7 to 14. Angle is not as important as you hold the angle when you sharpen your stone or knife on the stone. Uh, but that's I gonna do later. My next knife would be the small parking knife. It's a handy small knife for the little vegetables for your hand. Just pick whatever you want and do it in your hand, mushrooms, uh, pretty thin, so slicing very nicely, uh, let me see, Damascus steel again, VG10, uh, Damascus finish, VG10, not bad at all, this was the limited edition, they didn't stamp it in the back as all, all other knives, I don't know, maybe you can read it, okay, next one would be the, that was my last knife, I bought it for some kind of semi job, small middle jobs, which uh, uh, parking knife is too small, and it's parking knife too small, and uh, any other bigger knife is way too big for the job. Uh, small vegetables, even herbs. I love this knife. It's a uh, five and quarter inches uh, length. Uh, this is only the sandwich knife. Uh, so it's not a Damascus finish It's not a Damascus finish. It's only uh, sandwich. It's only covered uh, Very nice steel. I think that was the 62 uh, Royal Cross scale or C uh, Nice mosaic in the handle uh, Back of the knife is stamped uh, Lots of details around the knife, as you see those uh, lines in the handle, line here, line here. Otherwise, pretty good knife. As I said, small jobs, hardness is pretty good, lasting way too long in the kitchen. Can't complain about this knife. I describe all knives under the video. You can read some little text which say what knife it is, hardness of the knife and the material used, if this helps. Okay, so this knife comes in with a shield, it's a wooden shield, little pin, pin is used to uh, stop knife sliding out, so it used to be on the string, but my string broke, because uh, knife is pretty sharp and all knives in the bags are sharp, so it's keep moving and, keep moving and uh, sometimes you just put your knife in and cut your string down, so uh, this saya, uh, saya I think it's called, it's a Japanese uh, shield. It's working knife, so I just keep cutting in the bag and throwing it in the shelf or on the table where I work. Uh, 
not easy in the busy kitchen to keep looking after the stuff so it just it is working to think okay so this soya saya i think it's called saya saya crack in in the middle i try to show you the crack was here you see it's open so this is only a little sad thing about this knife but i believe i can buy maybe more uh, okay this is uh so this is the Kaishun 10 inches uh, uh, Kiritsky knife, it's a nice mirror finish, uh, pretty nice finish on the edges everywhere, handle is pretty nice, I really enjoy this knife, as long as you don't have a wet or greasy hands, it's all fine, it just start to be a little bit uh, slippery, this handle can get slippery when you have oily hands, but otherwise it's nice. Uh, as you see, uh, I developed some patina here. Long slide of the edge. Edge of the knife, it's a uh, pretty hard uh, carbon steel. Uh, they call it blue steel. So uh, the, basically this knife, it's a uh, blue steel sandwich between uh, two layers of uh, stainless mirror polish steel. Uh, very nice knife. Uh, you develop patina on the edges if uh, patina not coming uh, then uh, you might get the rust patina it's a healthy sign of the rust uh, when you get a bad rust then you have to use your other kit which i showed you in the previous video uh, along with uh, my stones i have one knife care kit and uh, you can remove your rust from the knife if you get it uh, otherwise patina it's fine absolutely fine don't have to be worried about touching food with the patina it's not dangerous it's not unhealthy it's all fine it's just like a metal uh, what does i know about this knife this knife lasting way too long it's a carbon steel uh, it's not as fragile as uh, vg10 or vg max uh, you don't get a chipped blade uh, still be careful i'm not recommending to play with the bones or just Hit uh, metal surfaces with this knife. This is a 10 inches version. I only bought it because I had uh, I had eight inches knives in a previous Kiritsky, uh, and I said to myself like, okay, why should I have a two eight inches? So I bought a 10 inch. But uh, I really would recommend eight inch. It's much uh, handier and easier to use. 10 inch get a bit uh, too long. Maybe for some jobs you need a longer knife, of course, use the 10 inch. Uh, otherwise, really happy with the knife. Kaishun, blue steel, highly recommend. And that should be it. That's all. It's a bit shiny here today, so I'm just closing my eye and getting with the mirror reflection from the knives. So it's pretty not easy to. <laughs> So that would be it, and maybe I sharp up some uh, knife, why not, it's still nice weather, uh, so check my next video, I try to post it together, but if not, check after a week, uh, as you know it's still pandemic season here in Ireland or all around the globe, and trying to fill up my free time with some ideas, with something to do, so I hope I keep you busy and I hope uh, this would help you. Any comments, I'm very happy to answer. Uh, this is my knife set after 15 years of chef life. And uh, I'm really happy with this set. Uh, I might get another knife in the time because as you know, we never end up and maybe this would help you to don't buy any cheaper knives and uh, go slowly, gradually up. Don't, you don't need to really build yourself up, uh, uh, just go straight for the best and you have nothing to be worried. Uh, when you're buying slowly knives as I bought, then uh, you spend of course more money, uh, but you you might develop as well some kind of caring of your, for your knives and maybe it's even better that way. So 